हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ फंक्शनल प्रोग्रामिंग अंडरस्टैंड द हेजार्ड्स ऑफ यूजिंग इंपेरेटिव कोड फंक्शनल प्रोग्रामिंग इज ए गुड हैबिट इट कीप्स योर कोड इजी टू मैनेज एंड सेव्स यू फ्रॉम अस्टिकी बग्स बट बिफोर वी गेट देयर लेट्स लुक एट इंपेरेटिव अप्रोच टू प्रोग्रामिंग टू हाईलाइट वेयर यू मे हैव इशूज इन इंग्लिश एंड मेनी अदर लैंग्वेजेस द इंपेरेटिव टेंस इज यूज टू गिव कमांड्स Similarly, an imperative style in programming is one that gives the computer a set of statements to perform tasks. Often, the statement change the state of the program, like updating global variables. A classic example is writing a for loop that gives exact direction to iterate over the indices of an array. In contrast, functional programming is a form of declarative programming. You tell the computer what you want done. by calling a method or a function javascript offers many predefined methods that handle common tasks so you don't need to write out how the computer should perform them for example instead of using the for loop mentioned above you could call the map method which handles the details of iterating over an array this helps to avoid semantic errors like off by one error that were covered in debugging sections Consider the scenario you are browsing the web in your browser and want to track the tab you have opened let's try the, to model using some simple object oriented code a window object is made up of of tabs and you usually have more than one window open the titles of each open site in each window object is held in an array after working in the browser opening new tabs merging windows and closing tabs you want to print the tabs that are still open those tabs are removed from array and new tabs get added to the end of it the code editor shows the implementation of this functionality with function for tab open tab close and join the array tabs is part of the window object that stores the name of the open pages examine the code editor It's using a method that has side effect in the program, causing incorrect behavior. So, task for this challenge, we have to correct it. The final list of open tabs stored in final tabs dot tabs should be this, but the list produced by code is slightly different. Change window dot prototype dot tab close so that it removes the correct tab. in that case we have few missing here like wine and work mail and in the code for third closing the third window we are passing to means index we are passing index for tab close and here we can see one okay for two we have to work and we are closing using a splice but uh, if one we need to remove these these are extra and since we are using splice we just need to pass the index and tell it we want to remove one value from here and this should work let's run the test and it's successful download my solution and thanks everyone for watching see you in the next video till then bye bye